All right, here we go, Don. I've never heard of Barry Maguire. Is that how you say his name? Bro, what in the communist propaganda are we watching? <laughs> the Eastern world, it is exploding. <laughs> what is going down, world? Welcome to the 40-year-old FUQ Boys podcast. I go by the name blah, 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 Black Pegasus. Oh, sorry. What's up, man? What's your name? I don't know. I feel like I had to ramp up my intro all of a sudden. <laughs> and it's your boy, Tom Wannabe, back in the house once again. Hey, again, hey. again. Now, I Coming never- in hot, bro. Is it the video? Is it the, the hand grenades? The, ho- the holy hand grenade. Bro, I think it's because I just got back from jujitsu and I didn't actually get oh, you feeling absolutely spicy? murdered today. So I'm like, okay, I'm here mm-hmm. for this. Um, all right. Barry McGuire, Eve of Destruction. I, have, I forget who sent me this, but you know me, man. I'm mad random. I was just like, yo, that title is crazy. So I saved it, and then, you know, I'll, I'll check the first 15 seconds. I was like, oh, we reacting to this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this video is crazy. I mean, it, the tune, I'm kind of like, have I heard this in, like, a movie or something? Yeah. But it's not, like, jumping out. So uh, I, I've never heard of And this. I don't even know who Barry Maguire is. Like when I thought it was like a parody of Jerry Maguire. That's why I was like, what the hell is this? Nah. So I, okay. Okay, yeah, let's get into this. So I've never heard of this dude. I've never heard of this song. But the way it came in, there was a show I used to watch as a kid with my dad because uh, we're in, in Germany and we only had one station, AFN, Call okay. of Duty. I, no, it wasn't Call of Duty. It was <laughs> Tour of Duty. Okay. Tour of Duty. And it like, dun, 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 dun. It, I think it started with a song from the animals. And, and, and so when I see stuff, I start yeah. feeling this familiarity. That's the vibe I'm getting, but we'll see. You guys, if you're ready to get into this, like, share, comment, subscribe. You know what it is. 40. 40 year old what, what? boys are back in town. 40. All right, y'all, let me get this logo down, pull the video up. Don't forget to support the original content on the channel. I'm dropping a new music video with Anthony Ray called The Ugly Boys, um, December 4th. I also did a food challenge where I battled him eating Vietnamese pho. Guess who won? Well, you got to watch the challenge to find out. Yeah, I mean, anyways, all the original stuff is on the channel. Support that so we can That keep- just seems like a ridiculous challenge because I just feel like my stomach uh, would be sloshing for uh, days, all that bro, broth. We were struggling at the end of it, bro, because we didn't just do the soup. We did a beef Vietnamese yes. plate. Each, You're mad, each, competitive. Each. That's just it. It's interesting. That doesn't seem fun to me. <laughs> be real with the you. beginning was fun. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Barry Maguire, Eve of Destruction. I'm here for this. Let's go. The Eastern world, it is exploding. Violence flaring, bullets loading. You're old enough to kill. But not for voting You don't believe in war But what's that gun you're toting And even the Jordan River has Bodies floating But you tell me Over and over and over again My friend I you don't believe We're on the eve of destruction Bro, I already got goosebumps and chills. Man, that's what I need right now. I don't believe we're on the eve of destruction. That's that's what you need to hear in these times. But the way he was saying it, he's saying all this stuff is happening, but but it's like you're lying to yourself. You don't believe we're on the eve of destruction. That's how I took it. That's what I'm taking it. That's oh, why okay, I said I okay. need this right now. Oh, I thought you said you need this right now. Like, no, we're not on the eve of destruction. Yeah, that's the way I'm taking it. We're not on the eve of destruction. Oh, I'm taking it as we are. Yeah, but and he's you're, lying. You're but lying you're to lying you. to yourself. You're like telling yourself, no, we're not. We're not. It's going to be fine. Same but song, he's two like, different opinions. He's like, you're running into a war, Yeah, but you're saying we're not on the eve of destruction. That's how I internalized it. I could be wrong, though. It, I think interpretation is a mother. 
But damn, yeah. bro, this is crazy. I wonder when this came out. This, this I have seems no- like some, you know, 60s folk, anti-war type yeah, of vibes. Yeah, but it's, it's, this is, it seems like it came Communist out Communist propaganda. This seems like it came out during Desert Storm, almost. Yeah. I don't know. We're, we'll look it up at the end, you guys, because uh, I, I like going into these reactions not knowing anything. Um, Barry Maguire. Uh, yeah, I might be tripping on the Desert Storm because that's an old ass helicopter. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's a, yeah, that's uh, a Vietnam. Uh, bro, Lord, Mash. Anyway. Here we go. Don't you understand oh, yeah, what yeah, yeah. I'm trying to say? Can't you feel the fears I'm feeling today? If the button is pushed, there's no running away. There'll be no one to save with the world in a grave. Take a look around you, boy. It's bound to scare you, boy. And you tell me. Yeah, this has been going on so long. I connected it with like Desert Storm and things that I've seen personally in my lifetime, right? Like yeah. he says in the East. So that's how I was connecting the dots. But it's pretty obvious by this footage that it's not about that. So, well, um, yeah, because he was talking about Jordan. Yeah, but you know, once again, like you said, this has been going on for. Well, the other thing is like I'm just gonna keep it real. I'm gonna look dumb for a minute. I have no clue the different like I don't know geograph the ge- geographical location of Jordan versus Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iraq, Iran. I don't know the differences. Mm-hmm. Like I've not like I can tell you on a map of America some of Europe, but that's just I've never dived into the geo part. That's just not my thizzle. So maybe I should. Maybe I should. Maybe Eve of Destruction will dawn <laughs> an era of Robert Houston getting into history. And really studying. So (laughs) I can have the best reactions on YouTube. Yeah, my blood's so mad. Feels like coagulating. I'm sitting here just contemplating. Damn, this is Vietnam, too. can't twist the truth. It knows no regulation. Handful of senators don't pass legislation. And marches alone can't bring integration. When human respect is disintegrating. This whole crazy world is just too frustrating. And you... Tell me over and over and over again, my friend. I you don't believe we're on the eve of destruction. Yeah. Wow. Think of all the hate there is in Red China. Then take a look around. To Selma, Alabama Uh, You may leave here For four days in space But when you return It's the same old place The pounding of the drums The pride and disgrace You can bury your dead But don't leave a trace Hate your next door neighbor But don't forget to say grace And tell me Bro, uh, th- this song, that's a crazy scene. This song is beautiful. At the same time, it's mad depressing because it's just like so. One to clarify, we're seeing stuff going on in Israel in in some of this footage. It looked like, but then we're also seeing the Vietnam War, like all the protests against the Vietnam War. And this is just like I don't want to get crazy because we know how YouTube can be in these conversations. But the reality is now fast forward to now, like I first see this and I go to my childhood thinking of, you know, 9-11 and the things that pursued after 9-11. But now I'm in my 40s and here we are having a another altercation in, uh, you know, with Palestine and Israel and Ukraine and Russia. And it's like and he's saying it. He's like these things. He's I don't we're going to find out at the end of this. I want to bring it back and just vibe to that end piece of him singing because this is beautiful, but it's like 
sad because he's just saying he whenever this came out he said over and over again and here mm -hmm. we are i'm a 40 year old man and we're going back into the you know what i'm saying like and it's just like we, we actually on in two th i think in 2017 we had somewhat of peace in the middle east for a little bit you know for there there's a lot of layers to all that stuff but it's just like damn what are we doing and the crazy thing that hit me was like you can hate your neighbors mm -hmm. but go home and say grace like literally in the in saying grace the word is grace think about how deep that bar is and it frustrates me because i live in a neighborhood where i do like i try to say gary lives across hey gary lives across the street you know i try to say what's up to my neighbors and be more like hey how you guys doing because i did i'm starting to realize how important community is to protect the community mm -hmm. not just to you want to be, have friendships but even to protect each other you got to know each other and you can't yeah, i and mean you, is it, there even a sense of community i, I haven't felt that since yeah. in my adult life right when i grew up you know, there was Grandma Brown that used to make cowboy cookies. There was, you know, I knew like all of my neighbors. They yeah. were, the, you know, the the grandmas around the neighborhood would give us snacks. Like, yeah. you know, this, and, and this, my son never grew up with that. But this is what plagues me as well. In my neighborhood, there's probably people voting Democrat and Republican. You can tell by the houses, right? The houses that have the American flags typically voting Republican. The houses in this that have, household, the house that has a Ukrainian flag, <laughs> yeah. typically voting Democrat. Yeah. Right? I see this in my neighborhood. But the realest thing, and this is why I want to give so, a shout out, when drama happens in the neighborhood and nine one one gets called, everyone's like, "Yo, are you good?" It's human human life first. Even yeah. though they're probably separate at the table of politics, you know, when someone like someone hit my car and hit and run. When I go to my neighbors, my politics didn't matter. They're like, oh, we have some footage. This is who hit your car. You see what I'm saying? So that's yeah. there's still something there that we can build off of. But um, I'm going to bring this back a little bit, man. This is a crazy song, man. This is mad deep, bro. Ugh. That's why someone sent it. We must have went on a tangent on another video. And they're like, yo, you got to check this out. Because this is crazy. Bury your dead, but don't leave a trace. Hate your next door neighbor. Don't forget the sacred and tell me over and over and over and over again, my friend. You don't believe we're on the eve of destruction. No, no, you don't believe we're on the eve of destruction. I mean, for me, this brings up the question of, you know, are you black pilled or are you white pilled? White pilled means you're you don't think you're on the eve of destruction, right? Yeah, that you have a sense of hope. Black pilled feeling. I'm white pilled. Like you, half the cup's half empty. Half full, you mean? Half full. Oh yeah, yeah. My bad. See, it's framed. <laughs> I meant half full. I mean, there, there's there's a case that has been made by people like Steven Pinker. Are you familiar with this? Better Angels of Our Nature. Um, no. Or the rational optimists. I mean, there's a number of people that have looked at this from like a scientific or, you know, historical perspective and actually said that we live in the best time ever. That yeah, war, that's what I was going to say. That war, death, all these things, poverty. I think Jordan Peterson talks about this, about like, you know, we set a goal, something like in the 2000s that we were going to, you know, reduce global poverty by 50% by 2030. And we hit that mark in like 2015. Yeah. So like by almost every metric, if you look at it objectively, we look at, we live in some of the best times ever, but there is a, you know, push by certain people to like, you know, stoke fear. I believe, I think politicians thrive off of that. I think that there's certain people who are just, you know, black pill. They just look at everything. And when you think about all the things that are happening, the war in Ukraine, what's happening in Israel and, and Gaza, it, it's heartbreaking. I, I think that's part of the problem for me is like, I'm on Twitter X, whatever, you know, and I scroll through and you're not supposed to see the collected tragedy of the entire planet. We were never designed. So I might on any day wake up and see, you know, somebody getting shot and I'm just like, damn it. Why is this on my feet? You know what I mean? I didn't want to see this. Yeah. So this came out in 1965. It's folk music. So that makes total sense. Total sense now that this is along, 
you know, the end the war Vietnam, you know, time. But what you're saying, I agree with. And I, I think of it this way. Since the dawn of humankind, we've been at war with other humans. Tribalism, whatever you want to call it, we're always, it's always. So to be at a point where humans sing songs, it's like they're singing songs saying, haven't we learned from all this? No, and, I mean, and it's can we Can we have peace? But the fact that we're so self-aware to do this and be in the time of the most peace, even though there's war going on, we are in a time that there's more peace, there's more prosperity, there's more abundance, there's less um, things with more people on the planet. Kudos. Let's keep working for the betterment, and maybe we'll get there one day. But again... But it's a never-ending struggle. That's what I take from this song is like, look what he's talking about. He's yeah. saying the senators basically don't do anything. Yep. And he's like, and then, you know, just simply going to a protest in the streets isn't going to give people rights. Yep. Like he's talking about the same thing. The other thing is you kind of mentioned this is like we have, you know, this person we're like writing the song about this, which in some ways is critical of the government was drive. You know, it's crazy because like, you know, in Ireland that they're, Passing yeah, these like anti free speech bills. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought you were talking about the, the all them burning stuff going. So on. So if you have certain memes on your phone, you can be arrested. So it's like we have a privilege to be able to say what we say in the U.S. and Con to write yeah. these type of songs for now because we can't even talk the full on this platform. We can't really say what we think in totality because this platform won't allow it. So it's on the way. But I know what you're yeah. saying. I know what you're saying. Yeah. But if I said some of the things that I was really thinking, yeah, which I can say on other platforms, which we do from time to time, it is interesting. It is interesting, you guys. Yeah. So The last thing I want to say, man, is just like, you know, depending on how you want to take it, it is, I, I guess you could get depressed because it's like the same thing has been going on, right? Like he's basically saying our government is starting wars that we don't necessarily believe in. And now here we are in the modern area, <laughs> Afghanistan, Iraq, now Ukraine. It's like the same thing is going on. Cause I'm not trying, I wasn't trying to send bombs and money and guns to Ukraine, bro. I mean, yes, but I don't believe anything is ever going to be perfect. There has to Neither be do like I. this. I, I, that's There's why no I said I'm white. Pill. So I, I'm just I, like, yo, it is what it is. Um, I don't have the answers. Cause I'm, I'll be damned if I live in one of those war torn areas, I'm out. That's yeah. what was killing me, man. You see those little kids playing oh. in the, so that, that on one hand, that's encap, encapsulates my point of view is like, look at that, that you have these little kids playing in the rubble of some bombed out village of theirs or whatever. Like that to me is like the tragedy and the triumph of human nature that you would cause that type of destruction. But that at the same token, like the human spirit is such that like those kids still found a way to be playing have and fun. having fun yeah, the human, in the midst of destruction. Humans are resilient. They're resilient, just as the earth is. Anyways, you guys, <laughs> this is a deep uh, convo. Let us know what yeah. you think of Eve of Destruction by Barry Maguire. This is my first time ever hearing, uh, both of our first time ever hearing this dude. He snapped. He snapped. This is a good one. 40. Thank you for being some man. 40 years down the road back again. F-U-Q-Boy.